welcome back to the real live dystopian future. I'm Zoe Farmingdale, here to help you make sure quarantine isn't borantine. <laughs> I said it again, and I will never stop borantine. Hey, remember friendship? <laughs> Me neither. But we humans are social creatures, which might explain the deep emptiness you've been feeling if you've only been talking to your roommate, your cat, or your inner demons. So today's tip is to get social! There's a lot of things you can't do. A lot. Like, so many. <laughs> Pretty much everything, right? <laughs> Woo! But it's best to focus on what you can do. You can start by talking to a friend. Hold on. You might be saying, no duh, or if you were born after 1998, you may never have said that phrase in your life. But you do know how to talk. So, Check in with your besties on the regs. More cool slang. I'm not shouting. I'm not. But now is the time to reach out to an old friend from back home, school, or prison and find the time to have a real conversation over Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, Google Hangouts, Facebook video, house party, telehealth. Wait, that one's just for doctors. <laughs> and doctors are not your friends. Unless your friends are doctors, just not your doctors. Because your friends are doctors, and I'm not a doctor, but I'm your friend or not. What? Terrified of communicating in real time? Of course you are. So avoid it. Text, email, or write a letter. Whoa, is it frontier times? It may as well be, since you wear a kerchief around your face outdoors, milk and eggs are scarce, and any one of your neighbors might kill you. So grab a pen and paper and show the world how terrible your handwriting actually is. Braving those party vibes, even if they're confined to a 13-inch screen? Hit up your best buds, best gals, or best gender non-conforming friends and schedule a Zoom party. Regular accounts limit your meetings to 40 minutes, which could work in your favor, since at this point that many voices at once could be a major shock to your system. Or find some loser with a work account to mooch off of and send out those invites. It won't be long till you're back to your old ways of getting drunk and sloppy and looking like an idiot in front of friends and coworkers. And, if you're lucky, strangers too! This one can get tricky, so don't risk it if you might accidentally high-five or have sex with someone. But if you're cautious, careful, and not super horny, try an outdoor activity. Make sure it's something where you can sit far apart from each other, like lunch at a scenic outlook yelling across to each other from your two parked cars. Or wear your mask, stay six feet apart, and try walking, hiking, or biking. Stay on the go and reduce the chance that you use your danger hands to touch any of the same stuff. And remember, no sex. Sorry. Finally, if you don't actually know any human people or you just don't like the ones you do know, you can interact with internet people. Yes, the web can be a quagmire of dick pics and ignorance, but there's also a lot of really cool people from all over the world who would be super jazzed to do a Facebook meetup or watch an Instagram live by a real live American millionaire, which despite the grim reality is still what people in some places actually think our lives are like. Internet, p internet, 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 internet. On a serious note, you might be tempted to do your own live stream, and don't let me stop you, even though God knows we don't need any more of that. But don't be discouraged if fewer than 1% of your followers stick around or even tune in in the first place. It doesn't mean people don't like you. It just means you're not as interesting as you think you are. Or maybe you're just not showing enough sex tits. So go ahead, 
gather up those shriveled remains of what used to be a social life and Skype with your camp friends, write a cute card to your old professor, or FaceTime that high school prom date who you were super into but who everyone else knew was very gay. You never know, you might just brighten up their whole day, unless they're an introvert, in which case they'll appreciate it briefly, then return to living their best lives in government-mandated solitude. Remember, individually, we're just individuals, but together, we're a quarantine!